Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I haven't posted a video since last year. That was a really silly joke because by the time I get around to actually uploading videos to YouTube, a year has probably passed. But anyway, welcome back to my first video of 2019. I hope you all are relaxed and refreshed and ready to take on the world. I've been really excited about sitting down and actually filming some new videos and I have lots planned out in my planner. Loads of ideas that I've written down so I'm really excited to get to those later on. So my first idea was to do another Meet the Artist and I know I didn't do it too long ago. I think I checked back and it's probably six months now so half a year but I thought it would be a good way to start off 2019 and honestly I just wanted an excuse to draw my new haircut. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. But I decided to make it more interesting, so I tried to make a more dynamic pose, put more details in the clothes and the rucksack and all the little miscellaneous items you see later on. And I can honestly say I am actually really happy with this drawing, but I'll talk more about that later. The thing I actually want to talk about is what I want to achieve for this year and maybe reflect back on 2018 for a bit because I feel I made some really good steps last year with drawing vehicles and other things and you'll probably hear this repeated in my studio diaries because I've kind of talked about the same thing in that but that isn't out yet that will probably be out much later because I want to make it quite a long one and I want to be a little bit more experimental with my filmmaking ways for that one but yes, the goals that I have for this year are not in the way of like New Year's resolutions because I don't really do that kind of thing. I find it really disheartening if you hold yourself to such a high standard and give yourself all these rules. And if things don't work out, you can end up feeling really bad about yourself. But the thing is, life has other plans. Life doesn't appreciate you making rules for yourself. Sometimes you have to go with the flow and sometimes you can fight it, but you know, that's another topic for another day I think. <laughs> I don't want to get too deep into that kind of thing because I do tend to think too much and too deeply about too many things. So with my goals, they aren't all exactly art related, though I guess they could come back to art. So this first idea is not actually actually a goal, just possibly a new way of thinking. And something I've been really adamant about is that I don't want to be stuck in a label of art YouTuber. I really don't like that name. I don't want to be boxed in a label saying you are this channel, you can only do this. I want to be creative and I want to share my experiences. And it's funny because when I first started YouTube, I had all these rules in place for what I could and couldn't post online. And I think, nah, I don't want to do that. I want to post whatever I want. I want to be creative. I want to share my experiences in different ways through maybe artwork, video, uh, the studio diaries, like vlogging and all this. I kind of just want to... I want to make stuff, I think that's the ultimate goal of this channel, not just art, not just like a an art tuber channel, again I really hate that, I really hate that term, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I guess that first goal, if you can call it that, is no rules, no labels, just be creative in whatever medium you see fit. So goal number two is to keep branching out. Even though I keep saying 2018 was a really weird year for me, and I don't know how many times I've mentioned it, but I'm probably going to keep mentioning it. 2018, I really branched out with the subject, with the subjects of what I was drawing. I drew more vehicles, I draw, drew more like inanimate objects like cameras and buildings and botanical art and I'm really happy that I kept doing that. I kept trying to change up the status quo. I guess this kind of falls into 
the first goal of not wanting to be boxed into a certain label and so I really want to keep that up with my artwork just keep trying new things keep branching out and just have fun while I'm doing it I suppose the major thing I'm really thinking about with that is that I just don't want to end up stagnating I just want to keep keep it fresh On to goal number three, which is a funny one because it kind of conflicts the previous goal and it's not to get waylaid into trying things that I'm not sure about. And how I mean is this, is that we are bombarded with so much imagery and things to try, like new art supplies, new mediums to try, hey if you want to make this look really good you need to buy this, this and it's a bit overwhelming all of the time like I know I got really caught up in the alcohol marker trend and honestly I've had a deep cleanse of my room and my art supplies to the point where I have just my few favourites and honestly that's all I need because I think I'm at a point where I know what I like experimentation is good but it can be very expensive as I've found out from using alcohol markers I got so waylaid by a lot of big art tubers art tubers, oh no that word again <laughs> but I got really swayed with, with them singing such high praises for them but I knew deep in my heart that I wasn't quite sold on them but I still bought them anyway and I feel really sad because they were very expensive and it was a lot of money and I know I don't like the smell of them so why did I buy them? <laughs> so again I don't want to get caught up in trends and all that because like, right at the minute I think oil paints are getting pretty big at the minute and it's like oil paints are kind of dangerous especially the turpentine that you use to clean your brushes and all that so I really don't want to get involved in like using oil paints because they stink and they're messy and I don't want that so again I think I want to refine the mediums that I like there we go that's the word I want to refine it all and keep it nice and simple I just want to say though I don't think this is the fault of trends I just think we have to be really wary when we're online because advertising is very clever and I think it's really good to share your experiences of a medium that you enjoy but when you're a younger artist or you're easily influenced like me haha I think you have to just be really careful and watch out that you're not being pushed into buying something you're not sure of or maybe just keep an eye on yourself <laughs> especially when you see those hobby craft sales it's funny because I don't like minimalism but I don't like clutter either I just want a nice refined selection of art supplies that I can enjoy without feeling overwhelmed by choices so I think that's it for goals I'll probably think of more when I finish this video and posted it but oh well I haven't really got like those art goals it's more just a way a new way of thinking and just trying to create the best environment for productivity and creativity of course I have plans to make new sketchbooks comics get new products out on my store and try new things obviously I've got all that in mind getting outside more obviously that's a big goal of mine is to not be so scared of leaving the house but you know that all comes in due time and as long as I work at it a bit every day I think I'll I'll get where I want to be so if you are stressing out about your plans and your goals don't worry you'll get there everyone has a their own pace of doing their own thing and as long as you're working at it you know you're doing good a little bit each day it doesn't have to be like massive major changes overnight which I think a lot of people I know it's nice to strive for but you know don't worry don't worry just just take some time to relax you'll get there 
So before this video ends I want to talk a little bit about the picture that I drew and I just want to say I'm actually really pleased with it. It's so nice when a drawing comes out the way I envisioned it. Obviously there's always that part of me that thinks oh man I could have done this, I could have added this but for what I've done I'm actually really pleased with the work that I've made. I took a lot of inspiration from the magazines from the 80s, specifically the teenage magazines with the logos and all the bold graphic shapes you see, so like the blue going across the top and the little red triangle with my signature in it. I thought it looked really good and added a lot to the picture. I just wanted it to look like a, a magazine catalogue as I'm just really interested in making things that have a more interesting layout and I'm really pleased with how all the miscellaneous items came out, my sketchbook, my plastic pencil case, my zebra mud liners. There is a kind of like a big chunk I've taken out of me just messing about with like the logos and adding text and everything because honestly that's the part I think that takes such a long time is just rearranging and seeing where I can put everything and seeing what flows best with the composition. So thank you very much for watching the video. I'm very grateful for all of the support and kind comments you give me. I know when I've mentioned in the past that I would like to try new things and change things up on this channel, you all have been really eager to see that change and have been really supportive and excited and that makes me really excited too. And I can't wait to bring you more content, more videos, more artwork and creative endeavours in general. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye bye!